Okay, I guess uh, it's time. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Yehia Bey. Um, I work for HP. I uh, work uh, HP Cloud, uh, private cloud. I work closely with the HP uh, public cloud as well. And um, I work with uh, Glossomer Aguiar in right here, just to help us out here. Um, in we're basically trying to solve the domain quota issue. Um, as you probably all know, um, you're gonna find, figure out what is, what is this about? Um, today with Keystone 3, um, we introduced, uh, you know, in, in Grizzly domain, the domain concept was introduced. Um, uh, there's uh, um, a lot of um, work that has to be done to, to get domains into uh, fully functional and fully featured. One of the things that we um, were having uh, uh, an issue with is the uh, lack of controlling the, uh, the quota of each project. Uh, today, basically, uh, all the resources, the resource con consumption for cloud admin is, is basically um, done down at the project level. And um, you've got uh, people that create projects, a lot of projects, and um, use resources that they don't really have control over, where the cloud admin needs to control that at the, at the source level. So um, what are we trying to do here? We basically wanted to add some kind of a support, um, at least in, the, um, in Havana, to, to, ha to give uh, control and quota um, um, at, at, at the do domain level. And so we can, we're gonna continue to support uh, quota right at the, at the project level, at the service level, but it's very important that we, um, we try to solve this problem for all of us. Um, okay. So what we tried to do is um, we wanted to keep um, the quota um, management at least at the project level. In, for example, Cinder, Nova, uh, Quantum, or networking, um, they all have a quota driver to, uh, to, to manage resources, but they're really not, um, it's like a, almost a, an afterthought. There is no control. Um, and any time you, you need to manage the uh, changes or, or capacity for any project, you kind of have to go to a tenant level or project level. You don't um, have that uh, control at all. So what we're trying to do here is add um, basically the uh, quota set to basically manage the limit right at the driver level and um, at the, the project level but extend it over to the domain. And uh, the other thing that we wanted to keep track of, the usage of this quota. So you have some kind of control or manage um, in the uh, uh, domain usage set limits are basically, uh, if you go in and use capacity, your capacity, and you're not tracking the usage, it's gonna be uh, very difficult to, um, uh, to find where resources are being spent. So that's what we're trying to do. Basically add the, um, the uh, extend the quota over to the uh, domain level, add it to Keystone or, or uh, some other mechanism. Well, but we have some ideas though. Al uh, Glossom, you wanna add anything? No, good. Okay, so we're not changing the current uh, quo quota sets. Um, you've got, uh, these quota sets will essentially be the same. Where, um, again, the uh, what we wanted to do is add the uh, quota driver in um, in each service. Um, so, for example, if if you have quotas already set in for Cinder, Cinder capacity, volume number, of volumes, or um, and you wanted to, that's at the project level and uh, a domain sets quota right at the domain level, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, validate the, the quota with the domain level first, and that will take precedence over the quota at the project level, meaning that uh, it's a configurable option, 
uh, it's up to the cloud admin how they want to use the resources. And if they want to give control to the project uh, itself to manage these quotas, they can still do that. Um, and there are various aspects to this. Uh, we talk about um, uh, some uh, rules and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, control uh, that will happen at the domain level. However, we want to be able to um, maintain uh, compatibility with the existing driver. So we, we're, we're not forcing the domain quota at, uh, to everyone, at everyone, but it has to be sort of uh, a configurable option. Um, we, we need to make sure there is a correlation between the, um, the domain quota uh, enforcement uh, with the project level, the drivers, and how do we do that? Um, there are several options. Uh, do you have anything else? Yeah. You have them. Yeah. So, so basically, what we are trying to do is uh, uh, adding the possibility for setting quota at the domain level. So, as of right now, as of today, uh, you can set quotas at the project level, but there is no way to to set a limit at the full domain level. So we have, for example, we have the, the, the full quota that whenever a project is created that gets uh, assigned uh, directly to the, to the project and sets the limit for those projects. But uh, uh, if you create as many projects as you want, uh, you can easily consume the entire capability of your private cloud. So if a domain represents, for example, a department and the cloud administrator wants to limit the capacity of each uh, department or organization, he cannot do that as of right now because he cannot set quotas at the domain level. So basically, we are not trying to remove uh, the existence of the project quota, but instead we are trying to, we are, we are planning and suggesting to put a, another level of control that would enable the administrator to actually uh, set limits in a higher level. And uh, in the next slide, we uh, understand that there are some constraints and some relation between the, the project usage. Uh, so the domain, the domain there, all the consumption happens inside a project. So setting a limit at the domain would mean that that limit would uh, set the limit for the consumption above all projects inside that domain. Although there is still a limit at the project level. So I guess that's what this, uh, this slide is trying to, to, to clarify. Convey, yeah, okay. So, um, so there are several options. One of the options is um, we, basically uh, add uh, APIs to Keystone um, in the engine within Keystone that manages just the, the quota, domain quota. And on top of that, we layer basically um, a driver uh, for each project. There is, a, there is a Nova driver today for quota, for example. Uh, we're not gonna uh, throw that away, we're just gonna um, uh, have a lightweight driver that um, that basically does all the requests, um, res reservation, rollback, if all all the operations that you you would do with the current driver, with um, with the with the quota manager driver. So basically, if we wanted to keep the original driver and you don't have domain quota enforced um, and configured, you could. Everything works as, as normal today, but as usual. But if you wanted uh, to enforce the uh, domain quota management, you can enable that in, in, in Nova Config or um, um, maybe we'll have a, uh, we haven't really done all the details on how to implement the, the configuration, but it's a configurable option regardless. And uh, so the option is that uh, the domain quota driver from each project would, would uh, send requests to uh, the domain qu quota manager within Keystone. Um, there's going to be a Keystone, a couple of things we're going to change in Keystone. One is uh, we have to uh, add 
um, we have to add the quota um, schema in, and there's gonna be a couple of tables. One is the domain quota table and the other one is the usage table so we keep track of where things are. And um, basically uh, the rest usage here is basically the domain driver would call a set of REST APIs that are within the keystone. Um, but the other thing, that's not sort of um, the, the typical CRUD operation that you would do as an admin from, let's say, uh, from the client API, whether it's Horizon or something else. So in Horizon, you'd have CRUD operation. You could create, modify, um, modify set quota, et cetera, from your Horizon. Um, but um, it, uh, these operations are basically uh, uh, the, once, once the operations are set, the, the control goes into the domain quota, quota management engine or um, service within Keystone and uh, everything is handled basically as a, another layer of the current driver. Any, anything you want to add or? That's one option, right? Right, so, so that's one option. Um, so basically what uh, he was explaining is we need a CRUD operation for the quota in Keystone. Set quota for a given domain, update that quota, get quota usage and that kind of stuff. And we also need a REST usage in which this uh, these extended quota driver needs, uh, will communicate or connect to in order to get reservation, commit consumption, rollback consumption, and that kind of stuff. So this is, and this domain quota driver is basically an extension for the existing domain, uh, sorry, for the, for the existing quota driver that already exists in the service. So the idea is before proceeding to the project uh, check-in, uh, quota check-in, we first make sure that domain as a whole is still have uh, enable, um, enough. Have, it, have the capacity to allow the... Fulfill the request, right, yeah. The, it's a quota check. At the, uh, you have a question. So I, I, I'll read it and go into that. Oh, it's fine. If, okay. Um, the, the, I wanted to keep this picture for a second, and, and uh, this is uh, REST API, REST usage is, is a little, it, it, there, there are catch to it, right? Performance, how do we handle um, uh, requests from multiple, um, from multiple services? So you have two or three, four Novas, and number of Novas, and number of um, um, Cinder, and you only have a, a single keystone. So, so that, that sort of puts in a little um, pressure on, on the resources. Another option, which is um, uh, sort of flows with the current OpenStack model, you know, use the uh, a MQP, so message, messaging. And um, the, it's still in keystone, uh, REST API, are, are pretty much the same CRUD operation. We're not changing that. It, uh, that has to be done so the admin can control um, uh, the, the extension. And, uh, but there is a Q, um, uh, Q and option. And I like this approach, but Gossamer, you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. So, so the idea is that I mean we still need to to the capability to have synchronous calls in order to make sure that do I have do I have enough capacity? Should I proceed? Yep, you do. Mm -hmm. So the idea there is is to build the synchronous messages in in which you can you actually inform a callback to the message and then uh, whenever the the that the request or or message is processed, it can give you back a, a response. Right, uh, there's a catch to this one. Uh, the catch with this one is that currently in Keystone, there is, um, you can't really do messaging. Uh, it's a secure, there is a blueprint. Uh, we can reference that, right? Um, that, I don't remember the name of that the has to basically support uh, secure messages and we can't really implement this, uh, this approach with the current design unless the blueprint um, is approved. So the alternate option, which is create a quota service. It's a, um, basically 
uh, domain quota service or manager is a standalone. Uh, Keystone um, will have the, uh, as uh, we register the service with Keystone, all the current operations can still be um, done through um, the, uh, uh, the CRUD options will be in the quota manager, not in Keystone. So it's it's really a nice approach where we can um, still manage the the quota for domains in Keystone with the with the leveraging of the AMQ option. In um, Glossomer. Right, and, and there must be also some uh, some integration there whenever you create a domain and uh, and uh, uh, the the limits for do that domain should be already I mean, automatically set in the quota service. So there is some relation between Keystone and uh, the quota service in that case as well. Okay, um, before I move on, any questions? I mean, We'll wait, okay. Um, the rest is basically, um, it's, uh, it's, it's really little details on how we can accomplish this. Um, uh, uh, we can talk about uh, uh, the kind of uh, issues that we have to deal with regardless of synchronization, the quota check, reservation, how do we do that? Um, uh, we have to deal with uh, with uh, roll um, rollback, and if you have failures, there's a lot of uh, contentions that um, that having the domain service by itself sort of kind of not have to deal with the Keystone uh, specific issues. Um, it didn't solve uh, all the the issues in order to I mean on how to implement right. We didn't dig into a lot of details on the implementation side because uh, uh, for example, in order to come up with these options for implementation, we had some some ideas in mind. For example, uh, the first one: how could we be as less disruptive as we can? So then it came up with the idea of the driver, mm. the domain quota driver, and that yeah. kind of stuff. So. So uh, we wanted to, to make sure we understand the idea and the need because we actually believe that th this is absolutely required whenever you had uh, you have uh, you want to take advantage of the domain feature in a in an enterprise level. So so yeah. Um, again, <laughs> when we started doing this, we were going to extend the existing project uh, service level drivers um, in. Uh, with that, we we ran into all kinds of issues. Um, it, it's it's not a it's not a simple problem to solve, but it's not impossible to solve either. So, um, in uh, currently we, um, having each project deal with uh, with its own driver the same way they wanted to do for you know oh we need to do with quota it's an afterthought. Um, Glance doesn't have quota, and I'm not sure it belongs in Glance. Um, there is all kinds of um, project level, uh, or service level quota that shouldn't really belong there. It's really, you wanna manage your capacity and set qu quota, cloud admin need to control that um, at a higher level. And that's why um, it's having a separate service or quota driver for um, a lightweight quota driver that fits into every service or uh, like a plugin makes, m makes the quota um, in, in, at least feature in ex in extending to the future uh, with any new OpenStack service or project or resource, it's, it's not the end. You, we have to continue to do that and, um, and really control the quota management um, uh, uh, in, uh, as, a separate, as a separate entity. So that's what I'm, I'm thinking. Okay. I think we should go to questions now. Um, yeah, what, what we, we can go to questions, but what I wanted to show is that we have an implementation. These are the, uh, the quota setting operations. You've got the post, the get, the put, and the delete, um, boilerplate type, type of um, CRUD operation. Um, and it's the se second, and here's an example, right? Uh, you probably have seen this before, and if you look at the quota today, 
uh, the service at the project level, it basically gives you the tenant ID or the project ID and the quota that is available. Um, and I'll give you an example. Let's Cinder gives you sets quota at the tenant level, project level, for uh, the capacity and the number of volumes. But if you have three, three projects, you, you kind of see that now you could have multiple um, projects, but you, you can see it right at, at, the, at the domain level. And uh, so we're controlling that, uh, again, uh, at the domain level. It's very similar to what, what's done with the project, but it's actually at the domain level. Um, sequence diagram we thought of, that's not as interesting. Uh, what do you want to go to? You want to talk about this? Or no, just questions. Okay, just showing the current quotas with SWIFT no, network. And so we can talk about uh, open for questions. Yeah, go ahead. Adam. We, over there, there's one in the middle. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So um, thank you very much. This is great uh, and something that's very needed. And I think you're on the right track. This is awesome. Um, a few things. Why, why, why are we sitting in this room for this session? This is a, a design session. We, where's Dolph? You know, that's. Uh, that's I totally agreed. The problem is you try to sort of submit sessions and they'll approve it and say, look, uh, it doesn't belong here, it doesn't belong there, and we need to know sort of if there is a consensus about this. Do we, um, and then sort of if we have the buy-in from the uh, the contributors and from the public, then they say, okay, we'll bring it into design and we'll sort of, that's that's the approach they took on this. Yeah, I think it's because we had a lot of conversations. Yeah. Design that's why I, I came in as a, as a design discussion and it turned out in a journal session. Oh, okay, yeah, so. well, I've, I've got your back. Um, so. <laughs> and who are you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm Everett Taves from uh, Rackspace. Oh, okay. So I've got the centralized quotas design session this afternoon at 3.20. Oh, excellent, yeah. Please, yes, can I, can I count on you to be there? Absolutely. Bring, bring this deck, uh, let's maybe condense it to about you know, five to 10 minutes. Sure. Um, and you know, really focus on the, the options, I think, mm -hmm. is where we want to focus. And let's get some, some action items out of it and right. let's get a blueprint out of it. Well, um, we have a blueprint uh, already. It, it's just I need, uh, we, we basically, the whole idea is come here to discuss the quota. Oops, sorry. And um, uh, I'm just going to go in. And the blueprint is over here already. So we, we already have it. We have a, this is not working. Oh, sorry. Anyway, I have a blueprint, I have an ether pad. Um, uh, so we've got all that discussion. The whole idea coming here is what to do the design discussion. I've done the dis discussions for other things, but, um, but it, it's fine. I take, I take anything I can get. Uh, so we can come into that and, yep. and push it through. Yep, sounds good. I'd love to do that. Yeah. Great, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm excited to share this session with you. Um, you know, just be right up there with me. That, that'll be great. Okay. Um, a couple other things. I think you guys should think about uh, including project level quotas in there. I know that they're already in the individual projects. Let's start moving away from that. Um, so when you're when you're doing your design, <laughs> um, you know, I like a, like a, I saw the calls in there and stuff, and you know, it's all domain, and you know, you need to develop what you the features you need. So you know, start with the domain stuff, but you know have an eye, keep, keep in mind that, you know, you might want to also do this at the project level as well. to the mic. Okay. okay, good. Or, or at least don't design yourself into a corner. 
um, at, at the yeah. very least. I mean, you're not gonna really understand how it works until you've got some sort of proof of concept. So, I mean, start with the domain stuff, but you know, really keep in mind that, oh, you know, the very next thing everybody is gonna screen for is projects. And this is, this is great work um, that's, that's very much needed. The last thing I wanna say is you might also wanna, uh, did you think about quota defaults at all, how that would yes. work in this? Yeah. Um, there are a couple of things. One is that let's say we, we coexist with the exist uh, with the project quota, and um, um, that's one of the things is that we don't want to be disruptive. That's the approach that we could take. And um, uh, if you set domain quota, uh, obviously you're going to honor the. Let's say you have project level quota that is higher than the domain quota. quota um, then we we basically have to. Uh, make sure that we only honor the domain quota. But talking about default quota, we are going to have a set of default quota, and we were thinking, what could that be, right? And um, so that's uh, that's in the thinking process right now. And but Yeah, not, not necessarily, just to know that you guys are thinking about it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, and that, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's being given uh, consideration. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah, so any other questions? Yeah. I have a couple of questions. One is uh, uh, you guys focused on the enforcement of the quotas. Uh, do you plan to also have the reporting of the quotas? Um, for example, I may not actually specify a quota on a domain level, and I'd rather like to know what the, what the total usage is for a domain. So the other question I had was, uh, I couldn't catch the JSON uh, details from the back, but um, you, you do have uh, the uh, the quotas from you know domains and projects, but you also have the modeling around what is being actually measured in terms of uh, utilization, for example, quotas in terms of how you want to model the usage. Yeah. That's the usage enforcement. So we are ma monitoring that, right? Anytime you sort of um, use the quota, that's get it into because the second you, you, you have multiple drivers here, right? And right. Uh, which, which cater to multiple domains, um, domains as in, you know, you could talk about compute resources, you could talk about storage resources. So I'm just trying to see if you have modeled this to be able to represent the what. So, so the idea here was uh, to be able to all the the attributes or, or capacity or whatever you want to call that you already limit at the service and project level, you could do that at the domain level. So number of instances, number of CPUs, amount of memory. So, so that is the kind of stuff. So there is the idea is to support the same set that is already supported today for Novus in the networking. Uh, with didn't take a, a very deep look at Swift, but that is the idea. Is that your question? Does that respond? Yeah. You had a Thank question. You. I have a question for Scott, but I'm sure it's one of your projects or one of your slides you have maintaining a Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Go. So, so you, you have the limits and you need to control the usage. 
right? So in order to make sure that the usage does not uh, six, I mean, does not go higher than the limit. So that's the, the whole point. Yeah, that's it's effectively a cap. Uh, exactly, but but if you, I mean, right and no. So so we have the keystone, right? So that in that uh, in that design, we have the domain quota management at keystone. I don't want at at request for for reservation or something to go down to Nova. Can you give me all the resource for this domain? Can you give me all the resource for that domain? It's Can a caching. Yeah. yeah. So, so it is basically. That's that's the point behind the driver. So you wouldn't really need that. I agree. Um, but. Again, we can discuss well, this in the design. Well, remember <laughs> that, for example, you can have multiple regions. Then you can have multiple NOVA. So the domain can span all, uh, mm. all of them. So one NOVA does not know about all the usage of that domain mm. because there are other, other NOVA, mm -hmm. NOVA services in the, the, the system. So we need to catch there in a single location. So that is it. Yeah. You have a question? Yeah. Give it. Can you you want to give them the mic? Yeah. So. Yeah, did you think about for one of your options, instead of constantly going back and doing a read from Keystone or your separate quota management service, to actually have the quota returned in the validate token call, which is already happening. Uh, so it would be available, right? The it's token, token validation call. occurs, right, as in the middleware sitting in front of the service. Mm. It gets rolls back, it could get token back as well, it could be an option. You could do that. And then yeah. it's one less Not call, bad. right? Yeah. So but <laughs> what happened to the usage, do you think? Uh, no, you can't really right. control the usage. Yeah, it's I mean, we thought about that, especially uh, thinking about the metadata, right? We could receive the, the limit, but from, uh, from a user's perspe perspective, I mean, how would we do? We still need to, to be able to reserve and then commit the consumption and so on. So I'm not sure. Right, you, but, but then but you, you get in it from Nova or from Cinder. You're not getting it from. No, you are getting. You from can Keystone, get it. Yeah, and yeah. you could do that. But yeah, it's an option. Do. That's a great option. We we'll just have to add it. <laughs> yeah, we good. actually we think about the limit, but not the users. Any other? I think we're we're good. Uh, this was a design type of topic that I wanted, but obviously, it's we just have to put it out there, and I'm glad you guys are. Uh, thinking about it in HP Cloud, one hopefully behind this. And, but how do we, we, we go for more? So, uh, t what time is it again? 3.20. 3.20, we'll be there. Uh, B114. Great, thank you for your, well, I think we're done here. Thanks, Glossimer, thanks everyone. Yeah, you're welcome.